a wall of flame, a raging torrent, a roof snapping gust of wind. The damage can be unspeakable. But if God forbid you find yourself in the path of disaster, you need this man by your side because he knows a thing or two about picking up the pieces of a shattered life. And now, he's helping others do the same. You gotta get on these losses quickly. Meet Brian Whiteway. I don't just restore people's homes, I restore their lives. Looks like we had a substantial amount of water. Yes, okay. exactly. All right. My name is Brian Whiteway, and I'm the president and CEO of Dallas White Corporation. Grab a meter so we can check these walls out, because this is soaked. Dallas White is a construction company that specializes in property restoration for people in catastrophic situations. What caused the leak? The toilet? The toilet. The master bath? Yes. OK. The biggest difference between us and a general construction company is that we know how to deal with disasters, whether it's water, fire, floods, and we operate around the clock, anywhere, anytime, nighttime, holidays, weekends. Our technicians have a certain skill set in mitigation of water, intrusion, smoke, fire odors, biohazard cleanup. Often we get calls for floods. It could be something small as a toilet leak. It could be catastrophic as a sprinkler system going off in a large commercial building. Whatever the call is, we have certified technicians on call 24-7. And when you're working 24-7, you're earning 24-7. Last year, Dallas White pulled in $10 million in revenue. And with a net margin of 30%, Brian brought home a cool three mil. Brian, there's a health term in San Antonio. The insurance company's on line three. Thank you. Dallas White is one of the top property restoration companies in the country. There's not a single catastrophic event that we can't handle or we wouldn't respond to in a time of need. I can meet you in San Antonio tomorrow. And stepping up in a time of need is nothing new for Brian. He's been dealing with disaster his whole life. A week before I graduated from high school, it was a tragic accident when my father drowned. It was absolutely devastating. It knocked the wind out of my sails. I had two young sisters. They looked up to me. And at that point in time, I, I, I grew up quickly. And that's where I really got serious and focused about being an entrepreneur, knowing that I might have to take care of my sisters through college. I started my first company when I was 20 was actually a home remodeling business over a period of 20 years to build the company up, to be a very successful business. And I had a very comfortable, comfortable lifestyle. What started out as a way to put his sisters through college was finally giving Brian a taste of the good life. But in yet another blow, it wouldn't last. The economy crashed and, and lost it all, lost millions. That left me literally count pennies out of a jar. And it was an incredibly humbling experience. Beaten down and dead broke, Brian once again found himself trying to rebuild. Shortly after I lost everything, I was introduced to an individual who had a thriving restoration company and asked me to come on board as a consultant. This guy was not a very ethical individual. From doing minimal work to removing things that are not damaged to try to escalate their billing, to stealing personal items, it was horrific. You're dealing with people that their lives are already a disaster. I said to myself, I will never do this to a customer, and there's got to be a better way to do it. So Brian started his own company, one rooted in the kind of integrity that quickly set him apart. Honesty is everything. Client retention is so important in our industry. Insurance companies refer a tremendous amount of work to us because they know that our estimates are accurate. We always deliver high quality work, and we're going to take care of their clients. And it's that dedication to his clients that's fueled Brian's rapid rise to success. It started with a laptop, a pickup truck, and an office manager. We had revenues of $27,000. Today, my company has successfully grown to 35 full-time employees, 100 to 200 rotating employees, a fleet of 20 trucks, tremendous amount of equipment. And now our revenue is $10 million. And doing all that good has allowed Brian to do something a little bad. Live it up in Sin City. It would take the Bentley tonight. All right. Let's do it. I'm a bachelor, and there's no better place to be than in Las Vegas. There is not a single night that something is not happening or hopping. There's nothing better than rolling down the strip on a beautiful Saturday night, one of my gorgeous cars, from my Phantom Drophead to my supercharged Range Rover to my four-door sedan Bentley to the AMG Mercedes. And when he's not hitting the town, he's hitting the fairway. 
at one of Las Vegas's premier country clubs. I'm a member of Southern Highlands. Amazing, private, exclusive course in a gated community, and it's just a piece of paradise. If you wanted to get a membership there, you'd look at to spend at least 65000 Sure, fancy cars and country clubs are nice, but nice stuff isn't what drives Brian to succeed. This big rain came, and so the, the, the ceiling almost came down. Want to take a look at uh, the roof damage? Yes. In this business, you never know what type of situation you're walking into, but the bottom line is, is that when I go in there and I meet with people, it's my passion, my integrity, my name that's on that. And to be able to cross that finish line with them is just incredibly rewarding to me and is, is why I do what I do every single day. Better than uh, new. You're the man, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Thank you.